Hi there, I'm Dan Casey and today I'm going to be playing Lone Echo on the Oculus Rift. Let's get started, shall we? All right. Let's do this. Ba bam. Personal log entry for 7 of October 2126. Okay. This will be my final week aboard Kronos 2. In just a few days I'll be leaving Saturn behind and making my way to my new assignment on Ceres. My sweet holographic oh, hands. I saying it out loud. Ooh, can do the finger wag? No, no, no. Whoa. All right. So here I am, a sweet robot. Anyway, I'm trapped in this tube. All mining sites are running smoothly. I wonder if I can get myself out. Peek a bit lower than I'd like. Oh, we had some sputtering on the number 12 RCS thrust. No. <laughs> Jack and I managed. I hope oh, they noticed Jack. me. Good. Hold on a tick. Hera, pause recording. Acknowledged. Oh, got it. I'm Jack, everybody. It's me. Morning, sunshine. And how are we feeling today? Pre I, how do I thumbs up? Thumbs up? Yeah! Okay, Pretty good. The answer I was looking for. How is that bad? Hera. Let's go ahead and run Jack's calibration program. Acknowledged. Right. In you go, Jack. I'll nope. see you in a few. Oh, no. Mother, why would you do this? Module D221. Manual dexterity. All right. Time to prove how manually dexterous I am. I usually play rogues in D&D, so this should come in handy. I am Hera. Central AI for the Kronos 2 Orbital Mining Facility. What up, Hera? I will guide you through this calibration program. Okay. First, close your hand to form a fist. Done. Now extend your index finger. Done. Good. To proceed. Next your challenge, index Hera. To press the hollow button in front of you. <laughs> My greatest challenge yet, pressing a button. Now reach Did it. and grab the glowing disc that just appeared. Okay, let's see. Ultimate frisbee. When you are ready, oh. throw the disc into the goal. Yes, the nailed it. Target hit. Excellent throw. Yeah, it was pretty good, Hera. Complete. Please stand by. Well, I'll see you Module later, robot M101. friend. One oh one. Basic motor functions. I think I demonstrated I have basic motor functions. Did you see that frisbee toss? Oh, a challenger. Please pull the handle above you to exit the activation pod. Okay. Pulled. This labor unit will guide you through the module. Now carefully Ooh. follow it by pulling yourself through the environment using any solid surface. Oh, that's cool. I like this. Just doing some, like, pull-ups. Okay. Okay, let's see Please here. Please follow the labor unit I wonder if I can go up there. Oh, yes I can. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I feel like a rock climber. Oh, I can't hold on to him? <laughs> oh, I should follow what he's doing, I guess. <sighs> God, I'm good. This, is, this seems like a great workout. Who needs CrossFit? You can just do Lone Echo. Carefully climb <gasps> up the slope to continue. Now carefully pull yourself forward okay, and release one, to glide two, to the exit. Three. Oh no, too high. Calibration module complete. <laughs> module M205. What's soaring the above him? Thrusters. It's okay. I'm a professional space robot. This is fine. Your hands are equipped with maneuvering thrusters, allowing you to move more freely in zero gravity. Oh, tight. Well, hand jet packs. Activate left thruster. Okay. Activate Ooh. right thruster. Where are you at? There we are. Now please exit the activation pod All and I use have is your a dumb maneuvering watch. thrusters to reach the door ahead. Thrusters can be used in short bursts or held down for continuous usage. Please press oh. the hollow button near the door to proceed. Good. Now navigate the environment using only your oh, maneuvering geez. thrusters. Do not grab any surfaces during this test. Uh-oh. Let's see. 
Oh, that's cool. Instead of just uh, grabbing onto everything like a, some sort of parkour space robot, I can use these hand thrusters. I've solved your deadly puzzle, module robot. Complete. Module C-111. Communication. Oh no. My greatest challenge yet, talking to strangers. Communication system. When someone speaks to you, a reply notification may appear above your wrist. You may then respond by holding down the dialogue button on either hand and selecting a reply with your index finger. Hold down the dialogue button now. Okay. Input confirmed. There we go. Now hold down the dialog button and select a reply. Like this. Correct. Vocal selection acknowledged. Oh, I like Jack's voice. Often you will have a limited time to select a reply. In these cases, silence is considered a viable option. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. Acknowledged. I'm ready to proceed. Understood. Continuing calibration. Now exit the activation pod, and move into the room ahead. Alright. Come on, let's do it. Alright. You can also oh. initiate conversation oh, no, overshot it. points of interest throughout the world. If you look at certain people or objects while you are close to them, their name will appear, <laughs> and an icon will indicate that you can use the dialogue button. You may then hold down the dialogue button and select an option, just like a reply. Now start a conversation with the labor unit and speak about the Fury transport model in this room. Hey, buddy, have you seen this? Have you seen? Th Explain this. Unit 42, what is your primary directive? To assure the safety and well being of Kronos 2 station personnel. My friend, what is this? Who serves aboard the Kronos 2 station? Captain Olivia Rhodes and you, the prototype Series 11 android designated as Echo One. Oh, get back here. Excuse me, friend. What a is Mark this? One Fury Transport, 148th scale. Be advised, while real Fury Transports can be used there to travel go. to distant locations across the Kronos 2 station, I do not recommend attempting to ride this one. Noted. I love the sound of that makes. It's so good. Here, can you hold this? Nope, no, no. Zero gravity. I need you to hold it. I am not ready to leave you. Wait, no. Pausing calibration. Please speak to me again when you are ready to continue. Hold on, I'm ready. Hold that. Just. Please speak to me when you are ready to proceed. I'm ready. I'm ready to proceed. Acknowledged. Communication system fully calibrated. Please and that's on. how we talk to robots. Oh, there goes my head. Module A. It's probably good that I'm a robot or else I would kill the human protagonist just by smashing my face into everything on this space station. Error. Calibration program failure. Stand by for reboot. Uh-oh. I'm sure this space glitch is fine. This is crap. I'm one week from leaving, and you're just now telling me Jack's not coming. Command wants the Echo Unit to assume your duties. Olivia. Jack? Hey. Sorry, I have to go. Yeah. Kronos 2 out. Jack? What happened? Well, let's just say my calibration program crashed. My program I crashed. To be stuck in the activation pod. That's odd. Your diagnostic programs never just flat out crashed before. It must have suspended the pod's release procedures. In the event of activation pod failure, Titan Protocol recommends performing a complete power cycle of the pod, followed by a level <laughs> three inspection of. Wait, can I throw the peace sign? Deuces. <laughs> All right. Listen, about my conversation with command, how much did you overhear? Well, it sounds like I heard enough. 
I heard enough to know I'm Look no at me. going with you to Ceres. Seems you earned yourself a promotion. The directors want you to take over my duties as station commander. You'll be in charge. That would make this our last week together. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Hmm. Look, Arrival. They just hit me with this news a few minutes ago. I mean, come on, splitting us up. I, I never even considered it a possibility. I'm not entirely sure what to say. Except... I'm sorry, Jack. Well, all good things have to come to an end, Olivia, but I guess we can have a fun... Oh, no, that was not tethered. Hold on. There's no need to it's apologize, okay. Olivia. It's My okay, space lady. Is unfortunate. It's not your fault. Come on, then. No sense putting it off. Let's get our last week started. Why don't you go activate the bridge while I pull the overnights? All right. Copy that. <laughs> swear monkey? Who are you? Your swear count is not increased for nearly 10 hours. Oh, I see. Congratulations. Well, quit playing with that damn thing. Keep it clean, chat. Shit. Never mind. Uh oh. That's how we're paying for the repairs on this station. Ooh, I can swear too. Ooh, what do I want to say? Damn. That counts? Come on. Shit. <laughs> Ass. Damn. You know what? I could do this probably for the entirety of the stream, but I'll keep going. <laughs> Why, how do you guys use your computer? <laughs> All right, let's examine this plan. The Cronus 2 station has been in operation for over five years. Liv has been its longest tenured captain. The primary control panel. I can activate what? the bridge from here. Hold on. Sorry, before I do that, I need to meet this guy, this little bulldog. Who are you? Why do you find these creatures appealing? Bulldogs are a symbol of the British spirit. We don't want to know when the odds are against us. Ah. Sounds familiar. Oh, shut up. Yeah, I'm taking this one with me. This seems... This model is meant to depict an S8 labor unit, is it not? That's right. <laughs> it's little head bobbles. Oh, game of the year. No, I assume that its exaggerated proportions are meant to be humorous. Well, yes, but if you have to explain the joke, it, it kind of ruins it. I see. Ah, uh, peanuts. I'll make note of this in my logs. Sure would be a shame if these came open. Liv, if you keep consuming this snack food, you risk getting a cavity. Well, I can't help it. They're the only thing edible up here. I can uh, dispose of them if you like. Don't you dare. Astronaut ice cream, Liv. Come on. All right. Transitioning to daytime cycle. Time to hold my dog. Yes. Good boy. Behold, dog. The future. <laughs> okay. What? Wait, is he a speaker? I'm really going to miss this part. I'll get started on the morning checklist in a bit. That's cool. Just give me a moment Hold on. to soak in this view. Take your time. Ooh. That's awesome. Oh man, I, I, I know I'm wearing goggles in a room, but I always geek out when I get a full vista of space like this. That's so cool. Huh. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hey, look, you seem, you seem upset. upset. <laughs> I've been messing around. Getting way too good at reading human responses. You know that. Well, I have had a few years of practice. Yeah, it shows. 
command splitting us up. It, it bothers you. I just thought you'd be coming with me, is all. No assignment is ever permanent. I would think you'd know that better than anyone. Well, that's certainly true. It is entirely possible that we will work together again sometime in the future. Maybe. Here's hoping. Well, let's get let's started do on it. that checklist. Are you sure? There's no rush. It is our last week, after all. You're right. We can wait and take in the view. For a little while, at least. Yes, for a little while. So, Whoa, dinosaurs? Know. Hold on. I suppose congratulations <laughs> are in Sorry, dog. <laughs> for what? For your promotion. There's really no need for that. Come on now, it's a big deal. <laughs> in a few days, you'll be Captain Jack. The only so, captain I recognize is Alan. Captain Jack. What I mean is, as an Echo unit, I hold no official rank. So technically, I can't be promoted. Right. Well, that's too bad. Captain Jack has quite the ring to it. Also, you are the only person who calls me Jack. To everyone else, I am merely Echo One. Is that your way of saying you're going to miss uh -oh. me? <laughs> I have no. What was that? Um, Jack, did you definitely not that? dinosaurs. What the hell? Oh no. That can't be good. P please tell me you can see that. Yeah. Oh, hold on. I got it. I can see it. I think I'm too close to the window. Sorry, dinos. Duty calls. Oop. Please. <laughs> oh yeah, thrusters. It's almost like they developed a solution. Jack, I'm seeing something out the front window. Can you come up here and confirm? Yeah, I'm, c I'm coming. I'm coming. All right, let's see if I can figure out how to look. <laughs> I should check to see what Liv has found outside the front window. Yeah, I know, I should check. How? Wait there. I had you. Where'd you go? Come on. Uh, wait. No, there. There it is. Okay. Come on, robot. You got it. Affirmative. I see it. Any idea what it is? I'm afraid not. There are no records of any such phenomenon in the Atlas Interplanetary Database. It is an anomaly. What? Very not good. What the? Jack, are you all right? I think so. I mean, the world just went sepia-toned. I believe yeah. so. Yeah. You were glitching out. No, no, I the wasn't. That's briefly disrupted my internal systems, but no. I'm not reading any permanent damage. Liv, it's possible that anomaly is not entirely stable. You think? Priority alert. The hollow table. Something's wrong. Okay. I'll investigate. But first. Hera, initiate broad spectrum. Oh, you don't want to talk about this now? You have anything else to do? Focus Great. On the following coordinates. Nope. Stay there, buddy. No. Should we report the disturbance to command? No, not yet. First, let's get a handle on the situation. Fire up the hollow table and let's get a sit rep. Hollow table, where are you at? There we go. Oh, 
Man, maneuvering in this game is incredibly fun. It's a little disorienting when you first jump in, but once you get your space legs, it is awesome. Terra, status report. Multiple tier one malfunctions detected. Isolate and identify. Huh. Acknowledged. Isolating. Awaiting input. Saturn orbital zone beta. Let's see here. Orbital mining facility. Hmm. Designation, Kronos 2. All right, the Kronos 2. Oh, that's us. Great. Central mining station. What could be wrong with this mining platform? That is a lot of red. Oh, that's bad. Perhaps it's not as bad as it looks. No, it's Round it's worse. Reported in the cargo bay. Possible circuit overload. Reading marked temperature increase in the core containment chamber. Lockdown procedures in effect. Power failure reported in primary oxygen garden. Emergency failsafes triggered. What, well, that's it? Oh, that's 316 Kelvin. Hera, can you give us an in-depth scan of each affected area? Negative. Unable to establish communication with cube satellites. Wait, we lost the cube sats? How well, that's very we... not good. How are we supposed to talk to people, uh, Hera? Let's just have a look for ourselves. Where are you, you little bugger? Ah, here we are. Catch. Panelist, pass me the rock. Jack, could you do us a favor and scan this CubeSat? I'll need to calibrate my scanner first. Stand by. It'll only be a moment. Please initiate manual input on your ARM computer. Uh. Manual input, eh? I think I'm missing something. Calibration ready. Please initiate manual input via your arm computer. I'm looking at my sweet arms, but I don't see any computer. Beep, boop, boop. Nope, that's not the one. <laughs> yeah, I know, Olivia. I'm frustrated with my arm computer. Awaiting manual input for calibration. Yeah, I know. They didn't teach me this in robot school. Occam's razor applies even to robot arm computers. <laughs> Don't overthink it sometimes, folks. Just press the play button. Your scanning tool allows you to collect data on anything in the environment. Please exit the pod right. to begin calibrating it. Please follow me to the disk spawner at the back of the room. The disk spawner. It's just a quad at any... College or university. Now activate your scanner by pressing the button on top of your hand. Both of your hands have this functionality. Good. Now aim the scanner at the I.O. port on the disk spawner and hold the trigger to initiate a scan. Uh -huh. After scanning something, its name will appear next to your hand on the scanner's data tab. To see the results of your scan, Grasp the tab and pull it away from your hand. Pull the data tab now. I like this. Please grasp and pull the data tab away from your wrist to continue. Excellent. Use the button on top of your hand to deactivate the scanner now. Good. 
Okay. There we go. See? To complete this module, Fun with gravity. Gather scan data on five other materials or objects. Oh, I see. Stay. Okay, what are you? You must scan additional objects or materials to complete this calibration module. Initiating All right, Hera. human sarcasm. I thought we were friends, Echo One. Four huh. scans remaining. All right. Let's see what your file says, Hera. Uh-huh, uh-huh, of course. Just hold that. What is this space Three frisbee? Remaining. Oh, don't need to know. Two scans remaining. Oh, I see. One scan remaining. It pulls out. Calibration module complete. Nailed it. Please now I'm a robot back. space detective. All set? Scanner fully calibrated. Heads up. I got it. I got it. Give that CubeSat a scan. See if you can work out what's wrong with it. All right, well, it says here it's offline. You may be experiencing network connectivity issues. Okay. Scan complete. Right. Well, what's the story? According to these readings, Something was disrupting the CubeSat's ability to communicate with the I rest see. of the sensor network. Where are you going? My scanner appears to have reset the CubeSat's oh, there transmitters it is. and there restored the thing. connection. Oh, well, problem solved. All you have to do is find and scan every last CubeSat we have scattered across the entire facility. Sounds like fun. Oh, of course, it would to you. All right, I'll, I'll find these CubeSats for you. But consider it low priority for now. Objective received. Right then. Onto the real problems. What do you think? What's next? Well, let's say, uh, Hera, why don't I scan these anomalies? Send us on your scan of the anomaly. Scan currently 3% complete. 3%? What's oh my the problem? God. The sensor network is attempting to perform a full spectrum scan of an unknown entity. It might take a while. Jeez. Lovely. <laughs> well, in the meantime, we've got three... Was this spaceship running off of a PS3? What do you say we get started on those repairs? Good idea. I need a few minutes to pull today's command codes off my console. Okay. You can just keep yourself occupied. Oh, then, thanks. Sure. I'm a of robot. Course. I don't experience the passage of time. I don't have feelings. Great. How thoughtful of you. It's just our last week together. Exactly what I want to be doing. Are you going to leave these behind? I hadn't really thought about it. Where do you go? Why? Do you want to keep them? And what purpose would I have for toy dinosaurs? Oh, something to remember me by? You forget my memory is archived. I can remember you any time I wish. Suit yourself. They won't be the same. Got him. All right. See you later, dinosaur. What do we have here? Oh, yes. A classic bit of spaceship. This hull plate is from Liv's first accident wow. on the station. Unless we experience 22 further incidents in the next week, she will end her tenure as captain with the fewest accidents in Kronos 2's history. Nice. Wait, who are... Oh, labor unit. <laughs> Thought there was someone else here for a second. Hey. Telemetry error. Compensating. Buddy. Unit 12, are you all right? Yeah, you good, bud? Were you damaged by that pulse? Status what are you report. looking negligible damage received to internal coolant systems. All other systems nominal. Good. Proceed with your current assignment. Affirmative. All right. Stay frosty. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, Hera, that's where you are. Good morning, Hera. Good morning, Echo One. Hera. Do you have any details on Olivia's transfer? 
My records indicate that Captain Olivia Rhodes is scheduled to take command of an Atlas Corporation facility on Ceres. Well, that sounds by one grade. way this better transfer was scheduled than being here. Days ago, but was only declassified nine days ago. Hera, can robots get a 401k? Hera, I have a question. Echo One, proceed with inquiry. Status report, please. <laughs> Damage detected to multiple systems. Oh, great. Captain Olivia Rhodes has scheduled repairs. Please see the captain for your assignment. Let's Ready do it, Captain. Are. Come on, then. Let's go sort out those malfunctions. Thread the needle. Oh. Not the best way to start our last week. Don't believe we've ever seen this many malfunctions all at the same time. Yeah, but what can you do? Shouldn't we notify command? No, we we're not narcs. Exactly, but there's a mysterious thing terrorizing the station. I'd rather we just wait for the results of Hera's scan. At least then we might actually have wait a minute. To what do we have here? What are you? Darts? These are like nerf darts? Oh, space darts. <laughs> oh, wait. All right. The bioregeneration systems in this sector are still functional. Space These plants are in no danger. Hopefully, the flora in the oxygen garden are also unharmed. Man, you know, fun fact: Budweiser is making ex they're doing experiments right now to see how you can make beer in space. So maybe that's what we're doing here as well. Are you barley? Who knows? And yes, Chad, I know, we already, we'd rather have water in space, not watery beer, but what can you do? Okay. <laughs> ah, what oh, whoops, sorry, <laughs> sorry, Olivia. Did not mean to grab yeah, you. That much I worked out. Can you tell me why we have unsecured cargo in the hold? Yeah. Maybe. Okay, well, we might want to look into that. Oh, I see. Not allowed to use that. All right, Jack. Looks like there's a lot to do this morning. Any oh. priority alerts? Well, it will be your station soon. What problem do you want to tackle first? Send the data to my ARM computer. I'll have a look. Let's see. Oh, that's cool. I like this system. Let's see. What do we want to do? Well, let's restore power to the oxygen garden. That sounds pleasant. Let's fix the power failure in the oxygen garden. Okay, follow me. Standard Atlas Corporation cargo containers, magnetically secured. Where are you, Olivia? I'm coming. Ugh. There it is. There's that garden. Olivia? Oh, there you are. Wrong garden. Looks like the power failure knocked out the door to the oxygen garden. I'll pull the manual release. And of course, the access panel is stuck. Jack, I think you're gonna have to cut through. I'll need to calibrate my reactive cutter first. Right. Okay. Considering the power outage, let's also calibrate your entry light. Calibration ready. Please initiate manual input via your ARM computer. Okay. Let's put that away. 